Now, I'm really curious if this game follows the canonical backstory of Centipede, with you as a garden gnome protecting their garden. Huh. Never mind. There's space bugs. My immersion is lost. All is lost. Let's just play. No, this isn't Centipede, and yes, it's for all intents and purposes a Centipede clone. Luckily, if you're a fan of the classic Centipede, you won't be disappointed. It plays very similar to both the classic Centipede and Millipede, and if you really want that arcade immersion, it is playable with a mouse instead of a keyboard or controller, which means... If you've got a trackball laying around, you can replace your mouse with it, and shabam, just like old times. Yep. Get those fingerless gloves out and stretch your wrists before play, because if you get into centipede like I do, you may develop blisters and carpal tunnel with prolonged play. I got blisters on my fingers! Just like old times. The times when I had to walk 10 miles uphill in the hot summery days and 10 feet of snow both ways just to get to an arcade. 20 miles for the times when I decided to play my Game Gear. Oh yeah, 50 miles both ways for my Genesis and Game Boy. Mm-hmm. Totally not a lie. I'm just saying I'm always right. Whatever, Bad Caterpillar for PC is available on Steam for the current price of $1.99. Luckily, I got it on sale a while back because, well, I'm a cheapskate. I believe I got it for 75 or 50 cents. It's fast paced and feels like a true blue sequel to Atari Centipede and Millipede. And because Atari is only Atari in name only and owned by Infogrames, we'll never see a good remake anytime soon. Only compilations and anthologies, which, to be frank, is still better than this. And this, if we be real for a moment. Fun Infused, the developer for this title, really kind of hit gold in a game that's not cloned very often. If you're watching this Mr. Infused, that's a hint. Find a title that's not cloned very often and pour your soul into it. I recommend Missile Command, maybe Dig Dug, or maybe even Burger Time. All with different themes, of course. Just a recommendation for your next game, I don't know. Either way, back on Bad Caterpillar, everything feels new and updated, but still carries the atmosphere that Centipede had. But... Enough praise. Basically, you get what you see. After the first 30 minutes, the game doesn't really offer anything else but the core gameplay. I'm not an achievement hunter or a completionist by nature, but I was able to get all the achievements relatively quickly without even trying. But that probably has something to do with my closet love of shmups and bullet hells. So really, the game is kind of simplistic and shallow. But for some of you out there, including myself, that's absolutely fine. And considering the price and quality gameplay coupled with tight controls is a steal if it's on sale. Playing a revamped centipede with new enemies, an online high scoreboard, a few added power-ups, and slight variation of playable characters is everything I wanted centipede or millipede to become in the 90s, but never did. It probably wouldn't have hurt to add a secondary campaign mode of sorts, maybe difficulty settings, but really, the gameplay itself is well executed enough to not really matter so much if you're simply looking for a good centipede style shooter. Bad Caterpillar is easily one of the best clones I've come across in recent times. If you're a fan of classic shooters, arcade games, and or Centipede, you should really give this game a shot. Even if it's not on sale, its price is still pretty cheap. Now, some minor differences between Centipede and Bad Caterpillar include the shooting mechanic and level design. In the original Centipede, the levels were procedurally generated but grew back, moved forward, and were planted by certain enemies. The layout would carry over to the next level and so on. In Bad Caterpillar, each level is new and the old mechanic of level generation is thrown out. Also, because of the revamped shooting mechanic and power-ups, instead of single shots, similar to Space Invaders or Galaxian, you're able to rapid-fire like modern shmups. There's also no poisonous mushrooms that cause a centipede to race down to the bottom. These differences aren't bad, but are balanced with more frenetic, twitchy gameplay. I'm only noting it because this entire time, I've compared it so much to being so similar to its predecessors, which in reality, there's enough difference to say that it's not an exact clone, and is different enough to stand on its own. It does help that some of the new enemies force you to stay on your feet. From the moth that flutters near the bottom, similar to the classic spider, but instead will purposefully race towards you if you're nearby. Either way, Bad Caterpillar offers a great, straightforward, classic arcade fun with a few modern twists. In comparison to other arcade remakes, it does better than most by not straying too far from the formula. Rating and comparing it to other quote-unquote arcade-inspired titles, Bad Caterpillar gets a well-deserved 8 out of 10. For what it's trying to be but stay fresh for new audiences, it does well. It's an easy pick-up-and-play and overall great for short breaks. 
Don't forget to like below if you're new, subscribe for more content, and as always, thank you for watching. Sethi Pong signing out. Black and crabbing.